welcome back to some more PDF document tutorials on how to create... Wait, I already mentioned it. Uh, well, how to create PDF documents. Let's get started and create a new class. I'll just call it Edit Stuff. This is what many people of you asked me, how to actually edit stuff in a PDF document. So that's the main focus on this tutorial on how to edit the text, oh well not edit the text, but edit some content of the PDF document. And to import the most important classes, the first one being the com.itext PDF dot text PDF PDF reader, we can get started. I okay that didn't make sense. Okay, now better one. So the second I'll just copy that. The second import is going to be the new one. It's not going to be the PDF reader, it's going to be the PDF stamper. That was new. So we're going to talk about a PDF stamper, which lets us basically like copy the file for us and then save it as the file again. So we're gonna do that in this tutorial, and to do that we also need the Java IO file output stream. Okay. So now that we have everything imported, let's create our main method. I'll just say public static void main string, oh what the, a string args. And then in there, we'll just create our PDF reader. So I'll just say PDF reader, uh, reader equals to new PDF reader. Yes, the parameter is going to ask for a string, which is going to be the file name. So from last time, I'll just choose the fonts.pdf file. Of course, if you want to choose the uh, super awesome document, you can do that as well. And then this is going to throw an error, so we have to surround it with a try and catch block, which I personally don't like, because it's just too much work to do, but okay, we have to do it. Okay, so now that we have the try catch block done, let's actually create the PDF stamper, shall we? So we can say PDF stamper, stamper equals to new PDF stamper. And it's going to take two parameters, so the first parameter is going to be the PDF reader, which we have up here, so we just can say reader, and then the second parameter is going to be, well, let's see, the file output stream, so let's just say file output stream, and it's basic, it works basically the way like, it's, uh, like I told you, so it copies the PDF file into the stamper, and we edit it, and then at the end we want to save it again, and so with the file output stream, we can specify the name we want to save it as, and I'll just save it as fonts2.pdf. That's the way it goes. So one thing to note is that the, uh, f that the stamper can only be created once for each PDF reader. So one PDF reader can only have one PDF stamper, which means if you're not sure if a stamper has, or if a reader has already been used twice by a stamper, uh, you can simply ask it by uh, getting the is tampered boolean. So you can say uh, system dot dot print line reader dot is tampered, and the is tampered boolean is going to return whether or not this PDF reader has already been stampered or not. And then we can do, I'll just, for dem demonstration purposes, I'll do that down there as well. So, if we run that, you can see the first value is false and then the second value is true, because at first we didn't create the PDF stamper, but then at second we did which is why it returned true at that time. So that's a little side note you have to remember if you are reusing the stamper excessively. <laughs> okay, so what can we actually do with the PDF stamper? So for now, not too much. Let me just open up a PDF document. And if I just 
hit command I, you can see there's a title, an author, and a subject. So we can edit those uh, so those three things in our uh, PDF stamper. So yeah, probably not too exciting, but for the next couple of tutorials we'll need the PDF stamper. But for now we'll just start off with those three things. And to do that we need to import something first. So we have to import the java.util.map. So if you don't know what the map is, you are going to learn now. And if you don't know what collections are, then it's going to be a little difficult to understand or it's going to look a little encrypted, but trust me, it's not that hard. So just type in map and then those, uh, what are those called? Those uh, less than signs and greater than signs. And then in those triangulars, I'll just call them triangulars for now, just type in two words, string, comma, string. And then outside of the map, just give it a name like info. And then this is going to create a new map, which is going to contain two strings. If you do, well, still, if you don't know what the map is, I'll just get to that in a minute. And now to initialize that info, we'll just say info equals to reader dot get info. And so now we have the information about the PDF reader. And from there we can pretty much edit those contents. So we can say info.put and then so a map is going to take two values. One is the key value and the other one is going to be the value. V value, yeah, right. So <laughs> uh, for instance, if I type in author, this is going to be the key and then the author, of course me, I'll just type in Felix Fritz. And then I think now it gets a little bit a little bit clearer what keys and values are in a map. So it stores data. One is the key, for instance the author, and then the other one is the value itself, or in this case the author itself. And so we can do that for the keys I showed you a moment ago. So we can say info.put and then the key for instance is title and as the value we want to say title is font skinner. And last but not least let's put another value in there. So I'll say info.put subject and as a subject I'll just type in working with fonts is fun. Yeah, okay. Uh, now that we have every information we want to have in our map stored, we can put it in our stamper. And then the stamper is going to use that information to put it in, the, in that fonts2.pdf file. So we can say stamper dot set more info to info. And now we have actually everything done to edit the PDF file. We have the author, title and subject edited and saved in our fonts to the PDF file. And then last but not least, we have to close the stamper again, since it's a file output stream as well. So that's going to quit the program securely and then we'll just run the program. Refresh it, open it, command I, and then you can see the title is fonts, author is me, and then the subject is working with fonts is fun. Oh, yeah. So, okay, not too exciting for now, but we are going to use the PDF stamper for pretty much anything that has to do with editing different documents. So look out for those tutorials. I also hope to see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.